option to get this is to move to Ghana. So why some of them move to Ghana is just so that they will get new and richer clients in Ghana. <laughs> Ghanaians, they will leave other African countries. They will cross border one, border two, border three. I've never been exposed like this before. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. If this is your first time here, and welcome please do not forget to click on the subscribe button please subscribe to my youtube channel the subscribe button is below this video please after subscribing i'm also going to beg you to turn your notification bell on the notification bell is just basically so that each time i upload you are going to be the first you know like youtube is going to notify you that your favorite youtuber have just uploaded a new video for you so you go and watch okay Thank you so much to all my amazing subscribers. You guys are the best. I'm super, super grateful for your support on my channel. I honestly do not take that for granted. In today's video, <laughs> I saw this video from Uncut with Uju. Okay, she made this video about why Nigerians prefer doing a shower job in Ghana. <laughs> As funny as this sound this is a reality there was this recent one that happened and it was all over the news about how a certain woman was trading was he, he wasn't even trading he was deceiving underage girls she would lure them to ghana and then lock them up in a room and then they would start using them for for her own benefit okay they will start doing a shall job for them and this woman will bring these ladies uh, to Ghana, these underage ladies, like you, have, you see 15, 16, 14 years old girls, he will lure them to Ghana. And so she normally deceived the parents that she's going to train them in school or she have a job for them. Um, she have a business where they will work for them. And these parents will allow their children to follow her. And then when she gets to Ghana, she will use them as she wants okay and some of them she will promise the parents that she will be taking them to school and when she gets to ghana she gives them to men to do whatever they want to so today i'm going to explain briefly why some girls choose to do this actual job in ghana okay but recently the police caught up with her and i think she was arrested and then I don't know the situation of the case right now but let me tell you this is just one out of 1000 of them in ghana they are so many in ghana i'm i'm saying this because i've lived in ghana and i've seen this happen severally okay there are some parts of ghana that when you get to that particular part the only people that you will see there are nigerian girls and i'm not saying nigerian girls like just nigerian girls these are nigerian girls that are doing hawking their bodies doing a shower job in ghana and some of these girls they are not doing this thing because it's what they want to do but it's because they have someone they are working for they also have a target that when you reach your target you will be allowed to stay on your own I will also say that some of them are willingly doing this. Nobody forced them to do it. This is what they came to Ghana to do. So number one reason why these people are leaving Nigeria to come to Ghana to do actual work. Some of them, as they claim, that Ghanaian currency is better than Nigerian currency. So imagine when they are being paid 100 CDs in Ghana and 200 CDs in Ghana, 500 CDs in Ghana. When they send it back to Nigeria, they will make more money. But yeah, it's one of the reasons that these girls are migrating to Ghana to do this kind of dirty job is because they feel that currency is higher than Nigerian currency. When they are working here, they make more money in Ghana than when they are doing their work in Nigeria. I think this is number one and the major reason why they prefer to do this job in Ghana than in Nigeria. The second reason would be to stay away from um, family or relatives or from people that really knows them. So some girls are in Ghana doing 
their travel job. But when they get to Nigeria, they will tell their parents or their relatives that they are working in Ghana or they are schooling in Ghana. So the reason why they prefer to do it in Ghana is so that people that know them from Nigeria will not be able to know what they are doing. Okay, so they feel much more free doing this job in Ghana than in Nigeria. Let me also tell you that this actual job is not to be that is started, especially the one between Nigeria and Ghana. Nigerians will leave their neighboring countries, that they like the countries that they have boundaries with, they have common boundaries with, they will not go to that country. They will prefer to go to Ghana. I'm not saying it's because maybe Ghana is more closer. Ghana is not any closer to Nigeria than any other African countries. They will leave other African countries, they will cross border one, border two, border three, and then jump into Ghana. And most of them will land into Accra and get stranded. Talking about a shower job in Ghana, prostitution in Ghana by Nigerians, it did not start today. This is one thing that so many people do not know. It did not start today. It did not start in the last 10 years. It did not even start in the last 20 years. It has been on for a very long time. I know a lot of people will come to the comment section to argue or to tell me the history is where Ghanaians do this and Nigerians do this. But let me tell you, these happenings have been on for many years ago. I remember a certain time in Ghana that the Ghana police they decided to send some of these girls home but the problem is you cannot just send them home when you send them home they will also come back some of them that are still here when they know that you're sending them home they will find a hiding place when the fuel everywhere is calm they will still come back again i don't know it's not gonna stop it didn't start today it started long time ago i'm not sure it's going to stop unless the people the men who are going after them stop going after them because that's the only solution if they don't see customers they will not come out but once you are going for them they will come out this is one of the reasons that they choose to do it in ghana than any other african countries okay ghana feels like comfortable and easier for them second reason being that just to stay away from people that knows them so that coming back home they can brag that they are doing a certain job in ghana that is profiting them and this is why they are progressing they'll come back home with bags of rice to their families and family will rejoice that their children are doing well in ghana not knowing that they are working their bodies in ghana <laughs> The third reason that I think Nigeria prefer to do a shower job in Ghana that to meet richer clients and you know famous people or maybe different people. They've done the work in Nigeria for several years in their city. So many people have gotten used to them. Then they feel like this is time to change the environment and go to some other cities or some other countries to also start a new life in the same career. <laughs> They moved together to start a new life, still in the same profession. Because they are already known in Nigeria for this kind of job, they decided to move it to Ghana. Why some of them moved to Ghana is just so that they will get new and richer clients in Ghana. <laughs> Ghanaians are the top of the list. <laughs> like the reasons that they choose to do this in Ghana is kind of crazy reasons. Korean girls have chosen Ghanaian men. For this job <laughs> jokes apart in as much as we all know the risk of all this but i feel if a full-grown adult chooses this part i'm not going to blame them because this is the part that they have chosen and any consequences that came out of this they are going to bear it do you understand because this is what they have chosen to do but the part that i am so angry about is the fact that you will come back to pick underage girls if you want to do the job by yourself do it but if you choose to do it with underage girls that is the one that will send you to prison because it's against the law there are some adults in ghana doing prostitution that they did not make that decision on their own. Someone lured them into it. Maybe a friend told them that they have a job for them in Ghana. And sometimes they have to even pay for the job that they said that they have gotten for them in Ghana. And then when they get to Ghana, they will realize that 
there is no job anywhere for them except for their prostitution job, a shower job. You can imagine that. So some people are lured into, into doing this, while some people wholeheartedly, this is the path that they have chosen. What I've said so far, I think these are the major reasons why Nigerians choose to do a shower job in Ghana. The number one reason is because of the value of cities. Cities have more value now than Naira, so they want where their money will be valuable to them. The second reason is to run away from families and relatives that know them or to run away from people who can easily identify them. Okay? Then the third reason is to get richer men. You know, you know, Ghanaians are rich. Yeah. These girls are leaving Nigeria to move to Ghana to catch the rich and famous guys in Ghana. I'm actually happy for what Ghanaian government is currently doing because they are fishing them out, especially those ones that are using the underage girls. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to applaud Ghana government for that. I can also remember years back when they sent so many of them back to Nigeria because they were getting so so much they were all over the streets when you see these people you can easily identify them you don't even need to ask questions there is this particular area in ghana that when you get to this particular place the only people that you are going to be seeing there are the people who are doing prostitution jobs they have taken over this particular area so much that if you are passing there, you will so be ashamed of yourself. I think I made a video concerning this. I'm going to link that video in the description box. Meanwhile, if you have missed my videos, like I have made plenty of videos about almost every situation or everything that is happening in Ghana. So if you have missed any of them, please scroll down to my old videos and watch them. Okay. So there are these particular areas in Ghana that when you are walking at these areas at these areas at night, you'll be so embarrassed. Like as a Nigerian, you'll be so embarrassed because the kind of people that live in this area are prostitutes. The worst is if you are moving around with a guy or if you're moving around with a man, is even a problem because you feel so embarrassed. Because they will walk up to you, the man that you are moving with and tries to get his attention. It's not a new thing in Ghana that Nigerians are doing prostitution jobs in Ghana. Like it has been here for a very long time. There's a particular one that got me so ashamed because we were just walking and then I heard this particular person speak my native language. <gasps> but they don't care. I think some of them are in a hiding place now because, of course, they know the government got eyes on them. If you watch up to this moment and you haven't subscribed to my channel, what have I done to you? Please, me parcho. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn your notification bell. You can also follow me on TikTok, Amachi Duru, on Instagram, okay? Follow me because I also have interesting videos one day. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to see you on my next one. Please, before you go, do not forget to share your thoughts on the comment section. I love you. Bye. I feel, I feel